Hello, uh, this video is all about Flossie in a pink condor. So here is a little interview with her. Yes, it's, a, it's you in a pink condor. Yes, it is. Yes, it was second on the, during DW2 in uh, 2019. All the way there and all the way back. <laughs> That's not a ratting ship then? I was set up for ratting because um, that was one of my roles during the oh, expedition. Okay. I don't think I did much of it. Uh, there was a lot of people in the same role and uh, I was never in the right place at the right time. <laughs> but I, I would hope that anyone that's intending to get to Beagle Point would know. Well, exactly, do. yeah, yeah. I think it's mostly just lapse of concentration when you're out there. Well, it all started <laughs> when I, I saw a call for help on, I think it was on Facebook, uh, from Commander Salazar. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. He was um, collecting metal alloys and found after getting a couple that he didn't have any cargo racks on his ship. So he asked if anybody could come and help. So I was actually in the next system. So <laughs> I said, yeah, I can help you. So I flew down to him. There was a bit of a carry on when my ship suddenly decided to launch and threw my SRV across the planet. <laughs> but once I got out of that, I eventually self destructed because I couldn't get back to him. Oh, no. um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was only, it was only oh. in the SRV. Oh, I see what you mean. So yeah. I was back in the ship and started again. So anyway, I, I landed and uh, Baby sat his metal alloys where he went to get to cargo rack. And yeah, it was just a fairly simple thing, but afterwards I just felt so good. I thought, yeah, it's really give me a buzz that. Just being able to help somebody in a, a practical way. And I just suddenly had this thought, oh, well, there's another way I could help people. I could be a fuel rat. <laughs> You've been playing Elite since the start? I have, yes, yeah. Well, since the start of Elite Dangerous. My husband yeah, yeah. used to play back in the 80s and I used to watch him. <laughs> but uh, I never had any ideas for trying myself at that time. <laughs> uh, and yet now, <laughs> you are I was, I was, legendary. <laughs> I have had the uh, first limpet on 64, I think it is now, which isn't an awful lot, really. Not as many as some people <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> who <laughs> seem to spend the whole life doing it. Um, I'm a bit of a part-timer, really. I sort of just come and go as the fancy takes me. I might, I might go for months without oh, yeah. doing any, and then do a few in one week. Yeah, that that picture uh, was actually taken on the far side of Sagittarius A. Um, oh right. In the Micah's Hope area, north of that area. Yeah, and oh. is it um, is it yours? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it's my system. <laughs> Got my Yay. name all over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So if yeah. we go out there, we'll spot it. Oh, definitely, yes. There was um, a CG coming up. The Frontier were asking for ideas for rare goods. Yeah. And a group of them at, at Lavecon got talking and came up with the idea of the Hutton mug as a rare good. That is good. So they put forward that idea and it was accepted and we had the CG to get the Hutton mug at Hutton Orbital. Yeah, I was in that CG, <laughs> I helped. I helped. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd set off and point my ship at Hutton and then go off and have a walk or something, <laughs> come back just in time for it to arrive. Oh yes, you can pretty much make dinner, can't you? You can, yeah. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> so... So that was, you know, that I was listening to Hutton Optical Radio and uh, of course it continued after the CG, which wasn't the intention at the time. Yeah. Was it just, was Hutton Optical Radio only planned for the CG? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fab. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going so I believe, away. yes, it was just for the CG and then Pitt wanted it to continue, so and it's still later. going now. <laughs> and then you take part in all of the stuff and you are integral to the show now because <laughs> you tell people what to do. Well, uh, yeah, for the CGs, yes. Uh, on the, our first big sort of convoy, I had a couple of accidents where I actually crashed into the star that I was trying to scope. <laughs> Will we all do that? Well, yes, we do, don't we? Yes, we do. Most, 
because I oh I crashed it you know, a couple of times it happened and they've never let me forget it. <laughs> years and years later. And you know well of course it's now in the song for the mug. It is Plot, <laughs> plotty always seems to crash into the sun. And I think that's another reason I decided to become a fuel rat because I wanted to prove that I don't always crash into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. in your head Flossie told you what to do